Legislature's Government Oversight Committee is appealing a superior court ruling to prevent lawmakers access to the confidential child protection files of four children killed in 2021. Justices on Maine's highest court heard oral arguments in Augusta this morning. Attorney Josh Dunlap is representing the committee. He says Maine DHHS can't withhold documents from the legislature simply because they are not publicly available. Last year, the Superior Court denied the committee subpoena of those documents, citing the records can only be shared by child protective personnel in the Office of Program Evaluation and Government Accountability. But while Dunlap says GOC is an investigating committee authorized to issue subpoenas, Assistant Attorney General Hunter Umphrey says it's not necessary for the disclosure of information to go beyond OPEGA to the committee. For over 50 years, this court has recognized that an investigative committee may compel production of confidential records unless expressly prohibited by statute. In Maine Sugar, this court concluded that the legislative power includes the power to subpoena confidential records. This power to compel production of information, the court said, is, quote, a necessary and appropriate attribute of the power to legislate. Indeed, was treated as inhering in it. According to the GOC, they are entitled to demand by fiat the production of confidential documents even without express statutory authorization. In its supplemental brief, the GOC ventures further still, questioning a foundational principle of our traditional system of checks and balances, which is the judiciary's inherent power to decide the cases before it. By rejecting the GOC's novel claims and affirming the Superior Court's reasoned decision, this court can, in fact, preserve the carefully calibrated balance between and among our three branches of government. The justices will make a ruling at a later date.